We're back for the first day of school. Inside, and a beauty! Hall running free! Brees Hall inside the 10! He's gonna score! What is going on, boys and girls? Welcome back to Talking Jets with Tigo. My name is Tigo. Get your last goodbyes to the intro. The New York Jets are recording their promo stuff, and we're going to talk about all of the news that happened today, recapping the first day of training camp. And I'm going to start with the biggest news, in my opinion, of what we saw at a training camp. Guys, we got a sneak peek of the retro white jerseys that the New York Jets are expected to bring back. I am so excited. I do not have the money to be spending on a retro white jersey, but you best believe that if it's true, if we're getting retro white jerseys, I'm going to figure out a way to get it. Getting my offensive lineman retro white, probably going to get me a Quinn and Williams, has to be done. I'm going to make it happen. I am so excited about that possibility, but a lot of things happened today in terms of training camp. We officially signed our first and second round rookies and Will McDonald and Joe Titman. Again, seemed like it was just kind of a formality kind of a thing. Um, we live in this day of offset language when it comes to these rookie contracts, but the New York Jets aren't one of the like two or three teams that like fully guarantee within the offset language and blah, 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 blah when it comes to their contracts in certain situations. So I never expected it to be a problem, especially with rookie contracts. There's no pri there's no priority put on rookie contracts. We know what they're going to get paid. The rookie pay scale is very, very clear exactly how much money they're going to get paid. So it was probably like, a, hey, when you get into the building, we'll sign your contract. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. But we got to hear from a lot of New York Jets. Specifically, we got to hear from Elijah Vera Tucker, DJ Reed, CJ Mosley, and Quinn and Williams all talking about this new atmosphere in the New York Jets. And I think the interviews or the person that got me the most excited was the DJ Reed uh, interview. I, as I was watching that, my wife as my witness, I literally paused the video and I go, I cannot believe this guy plays for my football team. Not only is he intelligent uh, when it comes to just football acumen outside of just playing his position, but the guy is a consummate professional, always says the right thing, and the best part of all is that he is an elite player. He plays at such a high level, and to see him being some of the guys, one of the guys that the rest of the defense goes to to talk to, you saw that in him talking about Quinn and Williams talking to DJ Reed, and we'll talk about Quinn in a second, but like the competition with him and um, Sauce and pushing each other to be better and just what the standard is every year. And I loved that out of DJ Reed. And one of the things that he said that really stuck out of me was every single player was asked, hey, Quinn and William got extended. What do you think? And everybody said the right thing. Quinn and Williams is a dog. He deserved to get paid. The New York Jets knew he deserved to get paid. He got paid. Everybody's happy. And I think one of the biggest things was uh, this could have been just all for show, but I actually do believe that Quinn and Williams is this type of player. I believe 100% that he would have been the guy who said, you know what, I want to get better. I don't just want to get paid and follow my laurels. And the Jets have seen that way too many times in the sense of, hey, we pay a guy and then he's just like, well, I don't got to work that hard anymore. Well, we're not going to see that from uh, Quinn and Williams, and that's really good for this football team. I also just love the competition that we're seeing. CJ Mosley talking about how Aaron Rodgers is winning the competition between the two of them right now, but he's going to get him on a few. How Sauce and DJ are competing to see who can get the most interceptions from Aaron. And I'm sure that when Aaron has his availability for the media and he gets asked about these questions, he's going to come back with that competition and be like, look, I'm not going to let these jokers get any interceptions on me. And it's just 
the offense pushing the defense, the defense pushing the offense, and we see that in that conversation that keeps happening, and everybody's in good spirits. Elijah Vera Tucker coming back, talking about being fully healthy and not trying to start any controversy, saying, you know what, I'm a right guard, I'm going to play right guard this year. Being very particular with his words, knowing that there is an opportunity for him to move to the left side. Talking positively about Makai Becton, which I think is great, and just getting ready to get to work with him and talk about uh, and just chop it up, and then ultimately talking about the offensive line and the turnover, and one of the things that I felt that was really comforting was knowing that while Coach Carter has come into the building, the messaging and the scheme hasn't really changed, which is something that I actually like. I like the scheme that we run on the offensive line. I like what we do with the offensive line, and I just think that Coach Carter is going to be able to push those guys on the offensive line a little bit more than maybe what we got before. So, Love to see it. Loved this this beginning of this. I am just waiting for the media day stuff to be released so that I can make my 2023-2024 intro. Super, super excited. Let me know. Who do you guys want to see in the 2023-2024 intro? What plays would you want to see? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about day one of training camp. I'm super excited. Had that first day of school vibe all over my face. Wore my Jets gear today. Was super happy. Should have put Ben in his Jets gear. That's a missed opportunity. You know what? That's what he's going to wear tomorrow. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And last but not least, go Jets.